Hey Warriors, welcome back. Working on the top part of this hutch today. The bottom part we've already completed. So we're gonna show you the top part today. We're gonna do some painting, uh, use a couple of new products, I think. And uh, we'll show you what we're gonna do with this. So we're gonna start by cleaning. We're using Dawn dish soap with some water. Uh, you wanna make sure you use a degreaser. Um, either LA Awesome, uh, Dawn is good, TSP, Dixie Bell's White Lightning, they're all good products. Just want to make sure whatever uses a degreaser so you get all the oils off of the piece so you don't have any adhesion problems with your paint. So we're going to go ahead and wipe this down with the Dawn and then we will rinse it off and we'll get to working on it. We're Jim and Cindy and we're inviting you to come along on our journey of furniture makeovers. Okay, so I noticed that this shelf actually is removable with screws in it. So we're going to go ahead and do that and make things a little easier. We got the right bit to fit this. Yep. And this was sent to us from Eula off of our Amazon wish list. Think sure it's coming in handy. Well, how sweet is that? This is really nice. Bula, thank you. We appreciate that. And it's going to get a lot of use. Not entirely sure, but something's on there. See that right there? So we're going to have to try to scrape that off and see what's going on there. So, yeah, pretty sure this is just candle wax. Just kind of wiggle under here. I want to be careful not to scratch the actual shelf. At first, I thought these were knots. Tell you what this is somebody i think uh had that candle burning down below and started burning the shelf they're lucky they didn't burn their house down so we are going to fill this in to match our um bottom dresser piece that this goes with we have not used this before but we have heard fairly good things about it so we're going to give it a try. This is the Durham's Rock Hard Water Putty. And we understand that this stuff's pretty good. It just comes in powdered form. So you mix it yourself as you need it. So it'll be a little interesting in that I'm not real sure exactly how much we need to mix up. You just mix it to the consistency you want. So I'm going to put some water in there and hope we don't have too much that I need to keep adding powder. You can always mix more. Go with that and see what happens. <laughs> the rest of this is probably gonna be garbage, so that's how much I had left. So we did mix a little too much. That's all right. We'll know next time not to go quite as much with it.
Okay, so before we head inside, we are going to paint the inside of the back of this. So, I'm going to go ahead and see how hard it is to get these things out. So we've seen where um, woods, when you sand down like this, especially these woods, this might be pine. I'm guessing it might be. Anyway, we've seen these bleed through on the lighter colors. So where we sanded this down, we're just going to give it a covering of the Dixie Bell Boss. And then we're also going to touch up the shelf right here where they burned it with their candles. We are painting the backboard in sage green. This is, uh, sage green is from Rethunk Junk. We're gonna get this done while our boss is drying on the other piece.
as you can see, I fill or did not fill. I did a poor job. <laughs> so anyway, so we're gonna take some Dixie mud. And we're gonna go over this. So we're just finishing up, putting it all together, getting the shelf in and all screwed in. And then we're going to put the back on, and once that's done, we'll be ready for staging. We're going to show you a couple of quick videos of the unit, and then we're going to show you different ways that we can stage it, different ways that it could be sold or used. And if you're a furniture flipper and selling furniture, it's a good idea to show the unit as many ways as you can to give people an idea of what it can be used for. So let's take a look at the before, and then we'll show you what we ended up with. So if you're planning on flipping a piece of furniture, you'll want to make sure you take pictures and show people what it can be. You notice that we staged it as a coffee bar. We also staged it as a entryway or a foyer hutch. Then we staged it as a children's dresser. And then we also staged it as a kitchen hutch. So you want to make sure you put as many pictures as you can in your uh, either Facebook marketplace posts or wherever it is you post for sale so people can see the different uses for it. This has helped us sell a number of units where we've staged stuff as a dresser or a buffet. So we always show pictures of all different ways it could be used and it sure does help. And thanks again for being here, for watching the video. And as always, have a flippin' awesome day.